Abbott is the support class. He provides the team with a tactical advantage. The damage amplifier multiplies all damage delivered to the target by your teammates. Dust tagging covers a large area in radioactive dust that outlines all creatures caught inside. The rail cannon emits an instantaneous blast that can blow through objects and damage creatures on the other side. Remember to use support's cloak ability. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hunters of all ages and monsters of all stages, this is D.B. Sinclair here with Jay Party. And I'm excited to be back, D.B. We are back and we are watching Evolve. This is game one. And we've got a special treat for the ladies and gentlemen out there, Jay Party. We've got some new hunters. That's right. We're looking at our new content today, particularly Cabot in this match. As already, we're following him. You see that new ability, that dust tracker. It's used a lot like the barrage we've seen before on Hank, but this is going to be used to track a huge area and mark all the creatures in it so the team can catch up. And look like that catches the monster on the first one there with that huge AOE. Yeah, nicely done by the support. You see a big blast of green dust and then everything in the vicinity there turning yellow even the wildlife lucky catch on the monster we're gonna see the monster outline for a while they're gonna know right where he's headed right now you're seeing him use that railgun trying to actually shoot him through the rocks Jay party this weapon is a slow weapon to shoot but it can damage through barriers as you can see there and they get him right in the dome yeah, that piercing ability is so cool. It allows it to go through walls or objects in space. Pretty much anything that gets in its way as it tries to find its target here, hoping to connect with the monster. And that thing's going to hit like a truck when it does connect. Speaking of the dome, Jay Party, we've got the new trapper in here, Abe. And he's going at him with that shotgun there, trying to do damage. Looks like they're tangling with an elite crowbill sloth. That could be a good damage pickup for either the hunters or the monsters as Abe tries to lock down Goliath with those uh, stasis grenades, Jay Party. <laughs> Absolutely there. Yeah, that does create a high priority target right in the middle of this fight. You're going to see a lot of contention for this upgrade as that damage perk is such a big addition for any squad here. We'll see which one gets it as I like what the hunters are doing here. They're just rotating by, trying to pick up that perk without getting out of position. They're doing a great job so far. Yeah, nicely done by support. This support character, Cabot, he is uh, a wide range support character who's mostly. Uh, literally supporting the rest of the cast with what he does. He helps the tracker track with the dust tagging. He helps assault do damage with the damage amplifier. And then he also helps do damage himself with that rail gun. Uh, and then finally he has the group cloak where he can help with the sort of defensive get out of the way of the monster uh, activity there. So you see him leading the pack here. Uh, he can do that with that cloak. Uh, if the monster turned around on him for whatever reason, he'd be able to cloak himself uh, and get out of the way. Looks like they found the monster. We've got Goliath here on the fusion plant. And Jay Party so far so good by the hunters. Yeah, great first fight. Goliath already at half health here. And that was thanks to Cabot and that dust tracker. Doing a great job here. Shooting that across these large open areas. That would normally be a big disadvantage for the hunters. Oh, but he nails Goliath again. You saw that small flash of green. That's going to let the hunters know exactly where he is. And that railgun relentlessly firing it through these rocks. Such a cool combination of abilities on this hunter. Yeah, nice dust tagging uh, it allows you to see your enemies all out through the map not just the monster obviously the monster is your primary target but you could see the the mammoth birds and the creatures like the crowbill sloth potentially who you don't want to mess with they're going to be outlined and visible as well to the hunters yeah wide range of uses for that ability you do have to watch out there that is a quite a long cooldown on it so once you miss you're going to have to wait a while until that comes up off cooldown monster to stage two as we saw there they found him right away he's in the cocoon coming out stage two no armor gets hit right away by support who does a nice cloak to stay away from the monster the monster on the run trying to hit through rocks not really having the confidence in his uh, actual shooting abilities, Jay Party. Now, that could be a little rough, those one-shot weapons. The monster also going on the run here. Doesn't like the look of that encounter, and that's a good decision here. He got caught right out of a cocoon, and that is the most susceptible time as a monster. You're going to want to run, get at least some base armor here. So now we're jumping over to our new trapper glasses. He was, you see in some of those stasis grenades. That's going to slow down a large area. Ooh, the monster crosses one there. You're going to see those blue rings get on him. Once those are on the monster, it's going to greatly slow his actions, reduce his jumps, and overall make it a lot easier 
easier for your team to just get that damage done on the monster. Yeah, really hard to move when you have the Stasis grenades, really hard to jump. The monster doing well, though, to lock them down here. This is not a good place to fight for the Hunters right now. A very unfortunate dome. Although, if they could get that perk, they could trade that damage bonus for a health regeneration. They might not need that right now, Jay Party, as the monster is doing work. Yeah, this Tyrant is such an important bonus here. These Hunters do not want to lose this fight. If they're driven out of this area and allow the monster to get health regen, all that work they've done is going to be completely null and void in the rest of this match. Yeah, they are working with Val here, so they do need to see some heals from Val. Val does have a down penalty so that could uh, pay big dividends dividends for the monster uh, here in the late game. And right now, he is just uh, taking advantage of them, stacking up right now and doing massive damage to the whole team. Support trying to use that damage amplifier there, but unfortunately, the team just isn't assembled enough to get real concentrated fire off on the monster. They're a little bit scattered here as they try to find cover and allow the medic to get some healing off on the weaker members of the team. You see that damage amplifier on the monster coming from support, as Jay Party mentioned, as the trapper here, Abe, tries to do damage with the damage amplifier up. He's using that shotgun. The shotgun, if fired one shot at a time, will fire a accurate slug into the monster. If fired rapidly, as you see there, it's going to be more of a spread, like a buckshot, and down goes Abe. Oh, and that's actually a two for there, as two hunters are dropped in this fight. But Goliath doesn't like the look of it, as he's down to just two bars of health at stage two. Not a lot, and with the assault still in the fight, it's not something he looks like he wants to engage on. A nice free meat snack to take on there, as the monster are going to see the potential of another dust tagging here. Uh, it looks like he's going to be able to knock it down there. He sees the monster in the distance potentially tagging him there making him visible for the rest of the team as he's moving off here let's see if that's a smart move jay party definitely wants to stay two by two in this team of hunters yeah it can be dangerous to go alone here you're definitely going to split up in that pincer the 2v2 maneuver but i like the decision here from the support trying to spread out looking for a big open arena Ooh, as he gets eyes on the monster a little <laughs> bit oh but he gets taken down by a venom hound there and nice. that's just so disruptive it blocks your vision and slows your movement as well as poisoning you over time yeah toxic poisons from the wildlife not fun to deal with looks like he missed on that previous dust tagging he's going to try it again here and this is a good time to do it he gets side of the monster the monster glowing red looking like he's got about full armor jay party oh and a great shot here marks the goliath they're gonna be able to see him for a while here oh and he gets the hit on that on that rifle too doing some good damage on the monster just wearing down that armor and that's so important to keep pressure on the goliath you don't want to allow him to get to that full armor every little bit of damage you can do is just so important yeah, keeping him on the run and keeping him visible is going to allow the team to split up and do that pincer maneuver like you mentioned. Uh, if they have visual on him, they know exactly where they need to do in their teams of two. And that was a little unfortunate there. The dust went down just as Goliath evolved, which means he can't be getting these railgun shots through that wall, which is unfortunate, as this is such a good time to get damage off the Goliath. Now at stage three, poses a big threat. Oh, but they get the arena off on the fresh out of the cocoon Goliath, and this is going to be a big moment for the team. Hopefully they can assemble quick enough. Yeah, nicely done by the Trapper. He is separated from the group it looks like they are finally catching up now monster down to half health as you could see there that is the trapper ability right so abe has that as well and it's down though jay party as we mentioned before on the show if you go down as the trapper down comes your mobile arena and that is unfortunate the team was just a little too fragmented and goliath is able to focus fire the first hunter before the rest of them can get there for support hopefully hopefully the support though can get this revive off and get the team back into the fight he had a cloak so he wasn't visible while running from the the Goliath, he is able to get the Trapper back up. Trapper down on two strikes now, Jay Party, and so is Assault oh, with that oh. big time rock throw. Such a good rock throw. Knocks Assault out of this match, even with Medic still healing him. It's going to take a while here, and it's going to give Goliath room to breathe as that major source of damage is now knocked out of this fight. As you can see, the stasis grenades stay in the area, even if the Trapper goes down. Goliath ran through one there and was temporarily tied up, but he is just able to pick his targets now. Down goes another hunter. Medic is down. Assault is down. Support and Trapper trying to stay alive. In this fight, looking rough. Once you're off your rocker like this, it's so hard to recover. The team is so based around having that synergy and working together. As people fall here, it's going to be hard for them. And I think this is the time where the hunters need to split up, fall back, and try to recover for the next fight. Trapper is dead. It looks like the medic and support were cloaked there, but the monster gets eyes. Here comes another rock. It's going to miss. Let's see if they can stay alive, Jay Party. This is a good combination right now, at least. Uh, with no shield, though, 
uh, from Hank. So no Hank in the game, which means no shield. He's going to have to try and stay alive. He already popped his cloak earlier. He's the last one alive now. And just like that, it's Cavett versus the Beast, and this is not looking good here as his cloak is a long way from cooldown. Oh, but a nice, nice dodge, dodge to the leap smash. And that's what he needs to do here. Stick to oh. his wall. Oh, but he can't dodge that as a blow to the face takes him down there. I loved the running punch there. The punch from midair. Nicely done by the monster to finish this team. Ladies and gentlemen, that's Cabot and Abe throwing down on the fusion plant here in Evolve. I'm DB Sinclair. That was Jay Party with me on behalf of 2K and Turtle Rock. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.